Now, before we install Git, you have to install Homebrew, okay? Because for Mac operating system, the moment you go to Git official website, and let me show you that part. So let's just type Git download. And if you just go to the download section, click on Mac operating system. See for Windows, they have direct uh, installer. You can directly continue. But for Mac, we need Homebrew. So if you click on Mac OS, it says Homebrew. So if you have a new system, then make sure you have a homebrew. If you don't have, then you have to install it. Now, how you can check whether you have homebrew or not. So just open a new terminal. Okay, just a second. Just a second. Just type brew help if you see this part command not found it means homebrew is not installed in the system just type config brew config if you again get brew uh, command not found it means it is not configured in your system so the first thing that you need to do is install homebrew in your system now what exactly is homebrew you must be asking so homebrew install the stuff that you do uh, that you need that apple didn't it means it will simply help you install a couple of things which you need in order to work okay so it's quite easy installation no need to write any you know program or something you just need to copy this command so paste that in mac os terminal or linux shell prompt if you already have you can skip this part but if you don't have you need to install it okay so again open the terminal and i will just use control v command v Okay, just a second some additional characters are coming let me remove that it is just because I have used a wrong combination of keys so control V and hit enter now it will ask you the password so let me enter the password of my system now it will ask you press enter or return to continue or if you want to abort use any other key so I will press enter from my keyboard now it's going to take a couple of seconds for me or minutes and once it is done then we just need to run a few more commands and we're good to go Now it, I guess it has installed. Now it takes a couple of minutes and sometimes you will feel that it got stuck but don't terminate in the middle because this is the mistake I've done a couple of times. I think it is stopped but it takes some time to install. So the moment you get installation successful, now you need to run two additional command, right? So once it says it's successfully installed, but now 
Next step is we need to run these two commands in your terminal to add homebrew to your path. So just copy this first command. Now if you want you can do in the same terminal. So I will just do in the same terminal. But if you want to open a new terminal and then you want to do that it's totally fine. Now this is the second step. I will copy this and just execute. That's all we need to do. And now you can restart this terminal or I can create I can open a new terminal and will make sure that brew commands are working fine. Okay, so just type brew, just type doctor or first type brew config. It should give you the configuration. Okay, you can see this homebrew version 3.5.5 and couple of other details. Clear this. Let me run one more command brew doctor and hit enter. Again, it will give you a couple of details. And if you're getting these details, it means homebrew is installed successfully. And now we can install Git in our local system. A bonus point for those who are struggling. So let's say in between the network connection is down, maybe your system got restarted or something happened because of that homebrew is not able to install successfully. In that case, you will try to do this process again. But again, it between you will get some Git error. Okay, because in, in between if your installation is stuck, it will not allow you to do it from the scratch. So what small thing you need to do, just go to this uh, go option and click on this go to folder and you will find this folder called opt, okay, which is just type opt slash opt slash click on go. Here you will find homebrew directory. In case if you want to start again from the scratch because the last installation was not successful, you can delete this folder and do this installation from the scratch and this time it should not create an issue if it is happening in the first go it's good but in case if it is not happening delete this homebrew go to this opt delete this folder and restart the process and after this as usual you need to run these two commands and you can start using homebrew